My name is Tony Holmes, the Application Engineering Manager for Trilithic. Today, we're going to talk about the 860 DSPI upstream traffic control. As the upstream spectrum of cable systems become more and more crowded with newer and better services, it becomes more and more challenging to troubleshoot. Ingress and transient impulse noise commonly interfere with upstream signal transmission. Now up to this point, viewing the interference on an analyzer has been difficult at best because a spectrum display shows the highest signal at any given frequency. And if things are working according to the design, this will be the service signal. Now some may suggest using a min hold feature to eliminate the time division multiplex signal and reveal the spectrum below. The problem with this technique is the interference will be minimized as well possibly even removing the transient interference signal from the display by showing only the minimal measure levels at each point of scan resolution. The traffic control mode provides a fixed frequency span of 8 MHz. You can enter the center frequency of the upstream cable modem signal and the bandwidth. Now the traffic control display shows three traces, a traffic trace, a live noise trace, and a peak noise trace. The traffic trace, which is in gray, the upper gray, shows the last captured signal containing traffic. The live noise trace, which is also in gray, but it's at the bottom, shows the last captured signal without traffic. Now the peak noise trace, which is in black, shows a persistent peak hold of the noise trace. This simple but yet comprehensive display enables a user to see what is currently happening as well as capture peak interference levels of transient signals during the time that the measurement is being made. Now on the bar graph, vertical displacement represents signal streak. The amplitude represented by the top horizontal line on the graph is the reference level. And in this example, in the upper left-hand corner, it shows the reference at 47. Now to change the reference, you can use your up and down arrow. Now you want to ensure that DSPOK -okay shows in the lower right section. If it says overload in this part of the display, you want to increase the reference level. I'm going to hit my right arrow one time. This takes me to the dB per division. The dB per division sets the vertical resolution for the graph. Now to change the vertical resolution, you want to use the up and down buttons. Now the, res the uh, vertical resolution can be adjusted from 1, 2, 5, or 10. Now just remember, selecting a low value will magnify the differences in the amplitudes of the displayed signals, but will limit the range of amplitudes that will fit on the graph. I'm going to hit my right arrow again. Now it takes me to the digital frequency, which this is highlighted by DIG. The center frequency of the display can be changed by adjusting this digital frequency. To change the digital frequency, you can use your up and down arrows, or you can use your alphanumeric keypad. Just remember, you want to press enter at the end of your, of your selection. I'm going to hit my right arrow again. This takes me to the bandwidth. The bandwidth frequency of the display can be changed by adjusting the bandwidth frequency. To change the bandwidth frequency, you can use the up and down arrow. And similar as I mentioned before, you can also use the alphanumeric keypad and just remember to press enter after you uh, press in your uh, desired frequency. I'm going to hit the right arrow again. This takes us to the marker. To adjust the position of the marker on the display, use your up and down arrows. And once you uh, put the, uh, wherever the marker is, is at, at that particular time, it's going to show you what the frequency is of the marker, but then it's also going to show you what the level is or the amplitude of the signal. 
And it all shows it right there on the lower left of the screen. I'm going to hit my right arrow again. This takes me to the trigger. Now this is, an, this is important to understand that the trigger of the display can be first changed by using your up and down arrow. Now the recommended level that you want your trigger at is 10 dB below the level of the traffic signal. And as was mentioned, just use your up and down arrows to change that up and down. And it's going to change it uh, in 1 dB increments. Now also, one other, uh, one other thing that you can set on here is the yellow soft key says reset. It's in the, in the lower, pretty much the middle of the screen. The reset soft key will re-trigger the signal and refresh the screen with data captured during the reset cycle.